Hello and welcome to my home. My name is Sysadmin Afterguard. I'm a career systems administrator of 10 years and an avid home lab and self-hosted enthusiast. About three years ago, I set out on a journey to bring as much of my digital life in-house as possible for peace of mind, privacy, and even honing my systems administration skills. I quickly found myself involved with several rich communities and like-minded people, but most importantly, I wanted to become the resource I wish I had when I was first starting out. Today, I am honored to be a part of Red Hat Cribs. I love Red Hat and heavily utilize the developer subscription to ensure rock hard stability and blistering fast performance of my Linux based services. Let's start out by taking a look at Site 1 HME. So, let's go ahead and start out with the most important part of my home lab this old Mac Mini. This is actually the host to the Flying Toaster screensaver and it is the most essential, mission critical part of my home lab. No joke. Moving on, this is a Dell R730 with a hard drive that wanted to be stubborn with me right before I started filming this. And below it is an Infortrend SAN loaded with 24 8 terabyte disks in a RAID 6, giving me 200 terabytes of storage, which is currently host to 18 VMs. Side note, I'm really glad to be away from that hot loud server room. I no longer have to scream. I host a very typical business type environment, which includes four domain controllers for my internal zone and four for my DMZ zone two on each site. I also have a couple of web servers, file servers, jump bots, and database servers as well. It's very early beginnings for this iteration of my home lab, but I'm currently working on bringing my website in-house and setting up a wiki where all my documentation will live and be accessible by the public. Let's take a look at how all of this is networked together. Back to the server room. All right, welcome back to the server room. So let's go ahead and take a look at the firewall here. This is a Sophos XG105W. It is currently running Sophos Community Edition and it is providing layer three access to pretty much everything in my network. Above it is a 10 gigabit switch. This is distributing 10 gig to all of my switches in this rack. And you'll notice that there's a lot of empty ports here. So this is actually where all my servers are going to be. That project is going to kick off in about a month so hopefully here soon, I should have 10 gig on my servers. Moving right along, right above this, this is a 24 port MicroTik switch. It is PoE, and the only things plugged into it currently are two APs. I plan to also plug in some cameras, so that way I can monitor my home. Right above that is a 24 port non-PoE MicroTik switch, and this is currently handling all of my servers. Eventually, all of these are going to move down to this 10 gigabit switch. Now, you'll also notice these really weird patch cables. These are actually patch boxes, and the entire concept is these are all cartridges, and the wires are actually on an internal pulley system, so you only use as much wire as needed. Pretty sweet technology. All right, I got wheels. Who wants to ride with me to the data center? Let's go. All right, let's take a look at these four U's right here. This is my lease space, and it is very similar to site one over at my house. I have a Sophos firewall, a MicroTik switch, and even a second Dell R730 XD. From top to bottom, I am utilizing the Sophos SG105 for connectivity to the data center, a site-to-site -site VPN back to my house, and it is even the host to a slash 28 block of IPv4 addresses, which are currently not in use, but will be in the future. By the way, the internet speed here is insane. I'm getting synchronous gigabit from my handoff. Moving on to the second U is a MicroTik 24 port 1 gigabit switch with two 10 gigabit SFP ports. And last but not least, 
I have my second Dell R730, which is very similar to the one at my home. However, I did not have enough space for a SAN. So I decided to go with two three terabyte SSDs in a RAID 1 and six 900 gig HDDs in a RAID 10. That way I don't have to waste my SSD storage on larger files. Well, I think that about does it for my home lab tour. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, watching my video. It's definitely much appreciated. If you'd like to follow along with me, you can visit links.sysadminafterdark.com and choose your social media of choice to follow along with me. Or you can visit my website at sysadminafterdark.com and view my various blog posts. Until next time, bye.